hello everyone we will discuss next part of the dc dc machine sees armature poles so you know here the armature is generally a rotor yeah stator have the field poles and armature have armature is nothing but the rotor it must and should have the poles so here just generally the armature in dc machine sees look like this and it has look like this so these having this is nothing but the slots these are the slots and if you observe the slot sees this is the slot the slot is useful to carry the winding maybe this is the winding okay yeah and this is also slot just observe here this is the open type slot we can call it as the open type slot okay and so you know you have to know the difference between open type slot and semi open type slot and closed loop slot if the slot is like this this is called open type and if the slot is like this if the slot is like this this is semi closed type and open and if the slot is like this then the slot is called closed type so we are preferring this type this type of slot just observe here so this type of slot this is the one slot and this is the another slot it will be continuous so i taken only the reference of three slots only okay yeah so this part complete part is the armature so it is generally the side view this view is side view and these are the slots this is the winding and we can take this is the shaft also we can consider this is the shaft and you know this is i am considering the only one pole that is some pole is like this yeah here by using open slots we we are using open slots in the dc machines so but in case of induction machines what type of slots we are preferred induction machines semi closed type slots are preferred semi closed type slots are preferred why we are preferring that why we are using that because the requirement is there here also open type slots is used the reason is by using the open loop open type slots the leakage flux will be low and the leakage reactance will be low leakage reactance will be low and generated emf will be a reactance voltage also less so this is the er is the reactance voltage so phi l you know this is the leakage flux whenever the leakage flux is less and xl is the inductance leakage inductance and er is the reactance voltage reactance voltage is there yeah so this will be happens here and whenever this condition is there reactance voltage is less and it has the better commutation the thing is er is less means that will provide the better commutation better commutation is there right next armature core is made with the silicon steel here we have this core is always preferred with the silicon steel must be laminated the silicon steel must and should be the consisting of the laminations because it carries ac the most important thing although it is a dc machines it it provides the ac quantity that's why it should require a laminations so in case of field pole core doesn't have laminations but pole should have laminations here but armature core have laminations because it carries ac is there next it have some functions so what are the functions of this armature poles so look at it accommodates the armature winding so look at here it accommodates the armature winding generally this is the function of slot 
armature pole means it's a function of slot slots are always provide the always provide the winding slots second offers low reactance for the magnetic flux so we have the magnetic flux is there it is consisting of the low reactance so generally this slot is low reactance so these are the functions normal functions of the things and we have one uh, remaining functions those are in armature slots are skewed to reduce the me mechanical vibrations what is the meaning of skewing skewing means so generally the armature flux skewing means so for example this is the armature for example this is the armature and we have two parts we have the two parts and skewing means it have some angle like this it have some angle this is made with some angle so that is called the skewing that is called the skewing okay that is called the skewing so why why the skewing why this providing some angle here the thing is there it will reduce the mechanical vibrations so generally machine have some mechanical vibrations to reduce that we are using the skewing next fourth point in dc machines open slots are preferred so that leakage flux and leakage reactance less reactance voltage and better commutation so we already discussed about this point so this is about the armature poles that we complete armature constructions okay so next next is the commutator the commutator is very very important thing in case of the dc machines because the remaining machines doesn't have any commutation only the thing is commutator consisting only dc machine consisting of the only dc machines okay yeah we already you know that what is the work of the commutator it conversion from ac to dc it is worked from from ac to dc or dc to ac so ac to dc then the commutator is acting as a rectifier and dc to ac it working as a inverter working as a inverter these are the main importance of the commutator so just look at the commutator easier this is the this part is complete commutator so it have inner the shading is there the these parts is called as the commutator segments so this is called the commutator segments this is the commutator and this part is nothing but the insulation this part is insulation that means two commutator segments are uh, are insulated between the two commutator segments it should provide some insulation because in order to avoid the leakage current in order to avoid the flow between the commutator segments okay and commutator segments and so but the insulation is mica insulation mica insulation have some property that is the property is it has 0.8 mm thickness it consisting of the thickness of 0.8 mm with dielectric strength of 30 to 40 ohms dielectric strength every insulation having some dielectric strength and that value is 30 to 40 volts 30 to 40 volts to avoid the leakage current right and if you observe here this line is nothing but armature coil so this is the armature coil is nothing but the armature coil okay so we have some direction for this armature coil mm, these are the coils 
so every some coil ending is connected in the some commutator segment okay dear in the commutator segments right and these the generated so the generated current will be collected by the brushes this is the brush 1 and this is the brush 2 b1 b2 are the brushes plus and minus okay so generally the commutator is made with the hard drawn copper to reduce the wear and tear wear and tear in order to reduce the wear and tear we are using the hard drawn copper what is the meaning of hard drawn hard drawn means anything we should take any material the material first you should provide some heating and second thing you should provide some cooling then 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 material is become hard to drawn it will become hard to drawn so we are specially designed as a hard drawn copper third number of commutator segments is number of armature coils this is the most important thing so we should provide the number of commutator segments is number of armature coils that will be decides the commutator segments okay so this is about the armature poles and the commutator okay. i hope all of you understand the session thank you